Hey everybody, it's Allison Haikila. Thank you so much for joining me for the Out of My Comfort Zone collaboration that I am doing with my darling friend Amy from Amy's Wears. There she is on the screen. We decided to do a collaboration, um, but we also realized that our styles are completely different. So we thought it would be fun to make a card or batch cards as it were in each other's styles. So you'll be able to check out Amy's video at the end of this one. I've got it linked and right here I am showing you Amy's style. So she does very cool, very flat cards. She loves to batch cards um, and she does amazing work with stencils and all sorts of other things, but stencils are like her big go-to. So of course I decided to do some stenciling and these are just a couple of cards that she sent to me fairly recently. So I decided to do some batching, which is just something that I am not necessarily not uncomfortable doing, but I just tend to kind of make all sorts of crazy things and I only do it once. Um, I don't batch things very often, but she's so good at it. So I grabbed the Doodle Wheel stencil from A Colorful Life Designs. I grabbed Tris Twisted Citron, Salvage Patina, and Villainous Potion Distress inks, a couple of blending brushes, and the Stick and Stamp mat from Brutus Monroe, which turned out to not work out as well as I would have liked for these cards. But she is making a shaker for her card, um, and you're going to love it. It's amazing. It's beautiful. Um, and I decided that I was going to really try to make a flat one layer card. And I tell you what, it wasn't easy for me. <laughs> I struggled with this. I struggled planning it out and figuring what I was going to do. And I wanted to make it in Amy's style as close to it as possible. Um, and, and it, it was stressing me out. I, I like my layers, but here I am attaching my card to that stick and stamp mat. Um, normally when I use this mat, I am just working on the top layer of my card, um, not, not the entire card all at once. And it, it proved to not work out so well with this. You'll see that in a minute. It's a little too thick. I'm working with 110 pound cardstock from Recollections and having the double layer there just didn't allow the stencil to stick down as well because that cardstock is so thick because you've got the two layers there. So I started off with Twisted Citron, and I've got that awesome doodle wheel stencil from A Colorful Life Designs. I wound up going in with Salvaged Patina, and then I'm going to end it off with some Villainous Potion. I actually decided um, to go back and repeat the colors a little bit, just at the top where that negative space is. Um, Amy is really good with filling her card fronts with color. Sometimes she does leave a lot of white space, but I, I'm not a big fan of doing white space sometimes. So I decided with these cards, I, I didn't want to. So you can see that I'm struggling a little bit here with that stencil. Um, it's shifting on me a bit just because it's not really adhering to that stick and stamp mat. Not because the mat isn't crazy sticky, it is, um, but because that card stock is super thick. I also realized that my salvage patina was a little bit dry. So at some point later, I do re-ink my pad off camera. Um, so I'm just using a couple of different blending brushes that I've got on hand just to get those colors in there. Here I'm going back in with the Salvage Patina just to kind of finish it off and not have too much purple. Not that there's really ever a thing as too much purple in my world, but I wanted to just kind of bring those colors back in a little bit. So now you're going to see the problem. I'm trying to peel that card up and oh boy, it is stuck down so much so that it warps the back and it's super sticky. Uh, you'll see here, well, maybe you'll see. Yep, you've got all of that residue from the mat. So I was a little unhappy with how that looked. That is no good for the back of a card. So I wind up cutting that apart. Got rid of that stick and stamp map and decided to just go with some pixie spray. And now I've sped up the process here just because you kind of get the idea for what I'm doing. But this is what Amy does best is batching these cards and she just whips them out. She comes up with a design that she loves and she just goes for it. She does them over and over again. And then she has a ton of cards like lickety split. And I'm always so impressed with how she gets them all done so quickly. She sets a timer on some of her videos sometimes. And I'm like, wow, I, I don't even know how she does them so fast, but 
I managed to get four cards done pretty quickly. I have no idea how long it actually took me because I kept stopping and starting and re-inking my ink pad and messing around with this pixie spray and the stick and stamp mat and all of this, but I will say that I did get them done fairly quickly considering I got four of them made. Um, I love these colors together. They're bold, they're vibrant. Um, I decided to go with colors that were next to each other on the color wheel uh, just to make things a little easy. The Twisted Citron, one could argue, is a little bit more on the yellowy side as opposed to green, um, but I, I love that color with Twisted Citron, uh, with Salvage Piscina. I think it looks beautiful. Um, so sticking with colors that are next to each other on the color wheel makes it easier when you're trying to just pick out a color palette. You don't get mud this way. Um, if you were to just pop some red in there next to that Twisted Citron, you could wind up with mud. So when you look at a color wheel or if you're trying to plan out your cards, take a look and, and pick colors that are near each other. So here I have the Color My World stamp set from Erin Lee Creative and Monarch VersaFine Claire ink. And I just pop those sentiments right there. It says, you color my world, put them all on there. And I'm sorry that my glass mat is totally crooked. I wound up using the anti-shake on my uh, phone and it pulled everything back a bit. And I realized now that I'm crooked, I apologize. But I grabbed the cool starburst rhinestones from Doodles Paper Playground, some on-point glue. I've got my, my gem setter here with a pokey tool. And this is me just kind of figuring out where I'm gonna put those rhinestones. So, I like to use the pokey tool with the, the jewel picker. I find it to be much easier. I hold the, the glue and the, the pokey tool in one hand and the jewel picker in the other, and it just makes life a lot easier because I find that sequins and rhinestones and all of those teeny weeny little things tend to stick a little too much to you know the, the various jewel pickers that there are out in the world. This one is from Doodles Paper Playground. Um, and I find it easier to just make sure that I have that pokey tool in hand while I'm working so that I can get those things off before the glue dries because the on point does dry really fast. So I've got those all pretty much done. Look at that. Four cards made, lickety split, just like Amy. And I hope that she likes these cards. <laughs> I had a great time trying to be Amy and I hope that she's proud of me. This was not an easy challenge for me, but I totally love how they came out. So you're going to see in the very last screen a link to Amy's video, and I hope that you check her out, and I hope that you love her just as much as I do, because she is totally amazing, and I want to thank her for wanting to do a collaboration with me, and maybe we'll get to do another one again soon. So thanks so much for joining me today. I hope that you have a fantastic day, and I will see you all again soon. Peace out.